are different. And I said, I didn't know how to talk to her about this necessarily. Um, it's really hard to talk to kids about disabilities, but I did have a really interesting conversation with them. And some of the like discussion questions that I just wanted to share with the class is, um, if you have younger siblings or if you know someone with a disability, maybe talk to them about it and talk to them about uh, how it affects their life. For my sister, um, she has, hers is not a physical disability, but she still hinders her in some way. And I just wonder, um, how important someone's physical or non-physical disability is to their daily life. I'm not very, I, I mean, after reading this book, I certainly do understand a lot more about what it means to have a disability and to be living with it. And especially as a woman myself, I don't always feel as valued by society or I feel like I have to work twice as hard to get the same recognition as a man sometimes, but I cannot even imagine what it means to be a woman with a disability, especially outside of the United States. Um, sometimes in third world countries, if a woman's born with a disability, she's useless. There's, she has no purpose. And I can't imagine living my life feeling like that. Um, I just, I don't know, but I did ask my sisters why they all drew boys and they said because they don't really see girls in wheelchairs or girls, um, like in public with disabilities. And I said, I asked them where they, they got that information from, where where have they seen disabled people represented basically and they were all telling me about their kids shows that they watch and um movies and etc and it's interesting from a child's perspective even most of disabled people that are represented in media are men because even though they have a disability since they're a man they have some type of purpose still but women with disabilities are not always told the same thing. And it's just a really sad fact of life. And I hope that we can change it. And I think that books like this, the books like the one we read, really help change people's perspective, um, especially with the personal stories. You're gonna hear Maylee talk at the end of this. And I think her message and her discussion questions are really powerful. Those photos are just um, the last thing that I want to talk about, which is, um, if you don't know the hashtag Me Too movement, if you don't know what that is, that is a movement that women started where they were talking about um, sexual violence and sexual abuse. And um, after some women started coming out about their sexual abuse they experienced, other women started coming out and then... Um, it was really helping women to uh, talk about their own experiences. But the disabled community was a little bit upset by this because disabled women had been experiencing more abuse than non-disabled women because of the fact that they were more vulnerable.